power levels. Everyone has them and no one seems to understand what they actually mean, but they do give an easy way to rank your favorite characters from strongest to Yamcha. And so I thought it would be kind of a good idea to take everyone's favorite, or second favorite? Okay, fourth favorite Horus, and see just how high she is on the pecking order. To really accurately gauge Starlight's ability, I think it would be best to start with her childhood. Starlight appears to be a normal unicorn, but doesn't really display any form of magical powers. And by that I mean she really displays no form of magical powers above that of what we would expect. In fact, struggling to even do the most simplest of spells. One could even argue that her grasp on magical knowledge was even below average, needing sunbursts to dictate how to do spells. Perhaps this means she did have some magical potential, and obviously she does have immense magical powers now, as we can clearly see her able to pull off some amazingly fantastical feats of power, but she lacked any form of drive or determination. She had no interest in studying magic, separating her from prodigies like Twilight Sparkle. She's quite content casting normal spells as she's being told how to do so by her childhood best friend. If it wasn't for Sunburst, I doubt she would have any interest in magic at all. This all changes though when Sunburst, her best friend and pseudo helper, saves Starlight from serious injury as a kid. This causes him to receive his cutie mark. Apparently it was a feat so worthy that he needed to be whooshed away to Celestia's school for gifted unicorns, or some other prestigious school in Canterlot. This turned Starlight's indifference towards magic and excelling in work to a strong hatred, and this is what gave her the one thing that she lacked. The drive. Starlight now had the drive to do the impossible, to remove that which is unable to be removed. Cutie marks. Cutie marks in of themselves is a very complex item. They are tied to physical and metaphysical properties of the owner, not only allowing enhanced feats but unique abilities as well. It is said that a cutie mark cannot be altered or created with magic, and we see very few examples where this is even attempted. One is when Apple Bloom gave herself a cutie mark through the use of a curse. This is kind of a pseudo cutie mark. It's a cursed item that's I guess replicating what it would be like to have a cutie mark, however we see many differences, such as it forces the user to perform those actions until they die. And secondly, when Discord swapped cutie marks, it was a far more powerful feat, but still different than what Starlight did. Starlight in her power trumps everything. She was able to do more than just switch them. She was able to create a unique cutie mark that isn't cursed. This feat is something we never really see replicated by any other creature. Another amazing feat is simply her mastery over all things arcane. From her being the first unicorn to self-levitate that we've ever seen in the series, something Twilight was unable to do as if she was, she simply would have used that instead of making a cloud walking spell for her and her friends. Starlight is also an expert at mass magical levitation with high precision, even showing up Twilight many times. And she is the first person to ever display the ability to extract emotion from a pony in the same manner that a changeling would. One could even look at Starlight as being both first in chaos magic with the cutie marks, including a scene where she swaps Luna and Celestia's and is able to cast a spell on the Lord of Chaos, banishing him from the school grounds. But we'll get back to that one later on. And with the changeling magic, well, it's obviously because she's able to control emotions. She's also able to go pound for pound with Twilight in her full alicorn mode, while maintaining one of the most amazing feats of magic to ever be shown on screen, full verse time travel. Starlight is able to not only go back in time, but can stay there as long as she desires, and she was also able to greatly alter the past, spawning entire new realities, and while casting such a spell, is easily able to win against an alicorn. 
I say also creating new realities because in this world she has to be creating separate universes for her to be able to actually transverse them and to change them. Otherwise, if she changed it so that the main six never met or that Sunburst never got his cutie mark at that specific time, she would have never have gone back to change time in the first place, meaning that she shouldn't actually be able to exist in her current form. Because she still exists, that also means multiverse theory is real in the MLP universe and Starlight has spawned multiple different universes. On that note, Starlight is already approaching Godhood. She does all this while still being able to keep up with a full-fledged Alicorn. Even though Twilight is displayed as never being as powerful as Celestia or Luna, despite them never actually fighting in any meaningful capacity, it still seems like a large feat for a normal unicorn to do. That does bring up though the question of how powerful Twilight is. And that would really take up an entire video on its own, so let's just go ahead and say that Twilight is about an S- minus on my scale. For quick reference, Fluttershy and Pinky are about a C- minus, displaying minimal power outside of the realm of normalcy in their world, with the exception of abilities directly tied to their cutie marks, Applejack is a C+, plus, Rarity a B-, minus, Applejack merely being a brawler, and Rarity displaying some large control over manipulation of objects via telekinesis when she's moving dressing equipment, but outside of that, not really showing anything that would be unique. And Rainbow Dash is an A class, being able not only to break the sound barrier, but the color barrier, like she was Jackie Robinson. Celestia is an S, while Luna is an S plus. And if you want to understand why Luna is an S plus, well, Celestia has lost every fight whenever she's fighting against Luna. This is more of a loose ranking though, and if you want me to go in depth for this, let me know in the comments. But for the most part, I think everyone would be okay with me saying that Twilight is the third strongest that we've seen in the show, at least amongst the normal cast. Starlight Glimmer, though, is stronger than all the princesses combined, and achieves the highest ranking on my list that I would consider possible, which would be an S++, or essentially a world ender rank. You may find that hard to believe, but it's actually quite simple. Starlight did a feat that no one else has ever been able to actually do or has been shown to do in any meaningful capacity. She affected Discord. Remember when I said that she banished Discord from school grounds? That's something very important. She banished him. If you think that Discord could easily be banished, why wasn't he banished when he started terrorizing Equestria when Celestia and Luna were still the big dogs on campus? The only things we've ever seen to be able to affect Discord would be the elements of Harmony themselves. The strongest force that we've ever seen in the show. Starlight is at least as powerful in a raw manifestation of that power as the elements themselves. When you're talking about power, there's a lot of different facets that have to come into play, especially when you're talking about something as nebulous as magic. There's the raw magical output, which would be like beams and lasers, etc. There's magical manipulation, which would be the complexity of spells. And then there would be other metaphysical features, such as clairvoyance and time travel. I'm not sure if it would count as just her brute forcing her way into affecting Discord, or if there's something else there, such as her simply having the knowledge of complex arcane rituals that allow her to affect Discord. But she was 100% successful in banning Discord from an entire area. Now his soul was a different thing. However, if she had casted the spell to disband that, I'm very confident that she would have been able to as well, as Discord looks extremely overwhelmed when she's casting the spell. The elements also were the things that took down T-Rex. T-Rex being a being that was equal to all the powers of the Alicorns combined, as they gave their powers to Twilight, and Twilight and T-Rex fought to a standstill. So yeah, I guess our little Sunset clone has grown up to be quite the overpowered Mary Sue. Of course, this is just my theory, and maybe you disagree with some of the stuff, so let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, 
and I thank you for watching. Woo!